So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. In today's video, I wanted to quickly show you how to connect your Fire TV stick to your computer accessing your full file system. And this is gonna allow you to quickly transfer pictures, videos, programs, whatever you want to your Fire TV stick and back to your computer. So this video shouldn't be too long. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So we're gonna go ahead and start on the Fire TV stick. Now this app is totally free, 100% legal. It is found in the App Store. It is called Wireless File Manager. So all you need to do is go to your search. So it should be this guy right here, Wireless File Manager. Click on it. And there's the icon right there. Now what you wanna do is just make sure that's installed. And also you need to install the File Explorer application. So if you don't have it or it doesn't show up like it does right here, all you gotta do is quickly install that. Both of them should be in the same place. If you don't see it next to one another, you can always search for it and it should pop up. Let's go ahead and launch the Wireless File Manager. All right, so when you launch Wireless File Manager for the first time, it is gonna initially ask you to allow access to your device storage. So you're gonna have to click on allow below and then you should be presented with this screen. Now this screen is gonna give you some information. It tells you that you can now browse, download, upload files from or to this device wirelessly, which it does. And it gives you two options right here. And we're gonna get into the two boxes here in a little bit, but below that you see some of your storage information. So storage emulated zero, that is your file path. Also you see the size of your device as well as the utilization below. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start wireless file manager. Now what this is gonna do is basically turn your Fire TV stick into a file server, allowing different systems like your computer to access it. File manager, all this is is a shortcut to that second application that we discussed before. So this is just gonna open your file manager. That way you can see the file path in your Fire TV stick. So first thing we're gonna do is start this. Now, once you start it, it is gonna give you the information up top that you need to access this from your computer. So it tells you that you can browse, download, upload files from to this device wirelessly, and it gives you IP address. So HTTP colon four slash four slash one nine two one six eight one dot sixty colon eighty eighty tells you in the web browser any device within your local network. So key features is that this is local. That means that both devices need to be on the same network. All you need to do is put this in your browser, and it should have access to your Fi TV stick. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect. So let me switch over to my computer. All right, so here we are on the computer and what we're gonna put in is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.60 colon 8080. Now again, your IP address might be different. Uh, the 1.60, maybe 1.4, 1 1.30, 1 whatever it is. But whatever you see on your screen is what you need to put in this area. Click on it and it now shows the internal of your Fire TV stick. Let me switch back to the Fire TV stick, kind of show you what happens when you connect. All right, so tells you right here in the bottom that you're now connected to and it gives you that IP address of the device that you're connected to. So the computer that I'm connecting from IP address is 192.168.1.53. Let's go ahead and open File Explorer from here. All right, so here we are inside the file system on the Fire TV 6. So you can see various folders, audiobooks, uh, DCIM, documents, notifications, movies, um, a lot of different folders within here. Now, if I go over to my computer, you can see you have access to those same folders on your device, which is pretty cool. So for instance, if I go to my download, um, you can see I have a, a photo in here called Lotus JPEG or whatever. I can go ahead and download it. All right. So there it is right there. And if I go back to the Fire Stick, and if you go to downloads, you can see the same photos right there. Click on it. I do have a lot of options. I can open file location. I can delete. I can cut. I can open an image viewer. So um, photos are pretty easy to get on this device. But what if we did something a little bit larger like a video? Let's go ahead and try that out. Before we upload that, let's go over quickly what the web UI has. So we can send over internet. All right. So it gives you a, a different way to, to join the session, send over internet. You have your logs, you have the option to upload. You have the option to reload or refresh. 
do have the IP. So if you click on that, it gives you the same information. You can choose a file to upload as well. You do have the app. So if you click on that, this is going to give you every app that's on your computer. Keep that in mind. You have files right here, older version as well as help. So we're here. Let's go ahead and upload something and we're going to go ahead and try a video. And let's just go with the Fire TV Stick secret menu. That's a video I released a couple days ago. I'll link it if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. Click open. And we're just going to go ahead and click upload. Just to give you a frame of reference, the size of this file is 514 megabytes, so about a half a gig. So not a small file, took about a minute or so to fully transfer. You can see it's right here now. Let's go ahead and we'll click on it. Now I have option to open. So I can pick a player, so I can use Cody, I can use Amazon, I can use Plex, whatever player you have. If you have the MX player, you should be able to use that as well. We're just going to go ahead and we'll stick with Explore. Let's go ahead and open it. All right. So remember that this is stored locally on your Fire TV stick. So, of course, space restriction is going to become a thing. So if it's not something you want on there, you can always delete it after you're done using it. All right. So I can go ahead and skip ahead and see that works with no issues. Have volume controls right here and go back. Another cool thing is that um, once you download something from your PC, it will go in that downloads folder. Now, this is easy to move, guys. All you got to do is click on it. You can see you have a couple options. So you can open in browser. You can delete, copy, cut, open file location. But if you copy it, then you can go back. And let's say I wanted to put it in the DCIM folder. All I got to do is go here, highlight, paste in the top. Go ahead and paste it. It might take a while, a couple minutes for it to transfer from point A to B, but it will go ahead and copy that entire file to that new location. That way it'll be better organized a little bit later for you. That's all I wanted to cover. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Like I said, the setup was pretty straightforward. The connection was pretty straightforward. Again, no moving USB from your computer to your Fire TV stick, no OTG adapters. Uh, this works, works well, very efficient. In your app store and it's easy to install no configuration needed so before we wrap this up let me know your thoughts in the comment section is this a feature that you see yourself using in the future or is it something that you currently use also if you're in the market for a vpn remember i have two vpn services that i use and recommend these services are ideal for anyone who's looking to remain anonymous from your isp or if you're trying to access geolock content of course if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one